So the following is a digital clock uh, being created with VHDL in the Cordis program and then being implemented onto an FPGA board. So here we have our mod 10 counter. We have two inputs being our clock and our reset uh, and our output Q1. Um, and then we have our process for our mod 10 counter uh, where the first if statement checks that the reset is high. If it's high, then we set the output to zero. Otherwise, on a falling clock edge, uh, we check if our output will equal nine. And if that is, then we set it back to zero. Otherwise, we increment it by one. Here we have our mod six counter. It's practically the same as the mod 10, except for our values are changed uh, to account for counting up to six instead of 10. So it's the same thing. We have uh, our clock and reset inputs, our output buffer of Q. Uh, again, checking for if reset is high. If it is, set the output to low. And then on our falling clock edge, if the output is five, then we set it back to zero, otherwise we increment it. So you can see here, this is our mod two counter. Uh, again, very similar to the mod 10 and mod six, uh, except that we account for uh, just counting to one. Uh, again, in the reset, just making sure if it's one, it goes to zero, else uh, if it's Q3 is equal to one, then you bring it down to zero or just increment it. So this is our seven segment display. C is our input, and then the output is the hex zero. Uh, over here, that you can see this input that we get from our counters, and then over here it goes to uh, the output that you see at the LEDRs, um, which is active low. So this first one here would be zero, um, one being uh, the middle LED, which is turned off. So on the LED you see zero and so forth. All right, so this is the final product. Uh, we have our clock input, which comes from the board, uh, our reset, and then we have all of our outputs, which go to all of these seven, seven segment LEDs. Uh, right here, we have a counter um, that will basically turn our 50 megahertz clock input into a one hertz clock input so that our clock increments at once per second. Uh, so basically we have our mod 10 and mod 6 going to our two seven segment decoders which creates our seconds. Uh, it's the same deal for our minutes right here. And then we have our hours which are bored together for the resets so that the entire circuit will reset once this reaches 11. So this is the implementation of the uh, clock onto the FPGA board. You can see that it's incrementing from minutes uh, and then it'll go to an hour. And the next video you'll see that it's implementing uh, further along. We're at six hours now and it's gonna keep imp implementing. And in the final video, you're gonna see when it finally hits 11 hours, 59 minutes, uh, and it finally resets to zero zero.